Well, I was hoping for a quiet weekend. <laughs> and it's all going to go horribly wrong. <laughs> Hello! Right, so we've got Legs Guest 1, Legs Guest 2, <laughs> and Oldest Friend. <laughs> and we're doing breakfast. And it's a big one today because there's four of us. So we've got Ridge Monkey 1, Ridge Monkey 2, Double Pan 3. Guest one, but then Woody. And Woody, yeah. Little guest, Woody. And then we've got, to, so our guests are, we've got Woody, Woody and Special K. <laughs> and uh, I'm calling him Special K because uh, I'm going to, uh, it's going to be a cereal and I'll tell you next week what his name is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, unsubscribe now. So what we're having is gammon, mushrooms, Some black pudding, which we've got to keep away from Woody. And then, yeah, Rosties in the pan. Never cooked anything quite this big in these pans before. Not quite sure how it's going to pan out. Hello. Hey! <laughs> yes, I've added mushrooms, just left them to steam in there for a little bit before I flip it. That over. Pull it that over. Do you find the handles are a little bit loose? I don't have an issue. Um, not really, no. As in, when you wiggle it, there's a little bit of give. That's what she said. Right, it's time to get some uh, gammon on. Good idea. They are really good. Dreamed of having one. This first time it's been out. Right, it's time to get some eggs into this mix. Are right, you ready? Check this out. I'll just show you this one. Oh, look at that! Eggs are fluffing up nicely. It was, yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's not bad, is it? That one's mine. A little bit more cremated, but uh, let's call it caramelised. <laughs> right, Woody's on chopping duty. Gonna get the fire going early because it's a bit chilly today. It's, uh, 15. It feels cool though. It's a bit blue blustery as you can see. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll hold it still, it'll be easier on it. There we go. Yeah, 15 degrees. Bit of a northerly wind. Come on, Woody! Special case, put his hand in. Snap it. And it's gone. Right, on a wood hunt. I'm going to take that dead stuff there. Go in, I think that'll snap now. Nope. <laughs> you think? Yeah. It's all about the knees. Not it's definitely knees. all yeah. about the knees. <laughs> Woody and I are having a look in the woody for a nice little uh, bit of wood that might serve as a bow. I want to try and make a bow. There she goes. Did you hear that duck? <laughs> yeah. Right, let's see what we can do with this. Hmm. Right, so I've got this bit of wood. I'm not quite sure what wood it is. I know it's a hard wood. It's not pine, considering this is a pine wood. It's not totally straight, but I'm going to have a go 
at shaping this into a bow. I don't know, how long have I been at this? Just point it at him. Hmm. How long have I been at this? About, about three, three hours. hours. It is about three hours now. Right, okay, so what I've got so far is I've got the main body here. This is the belly and this is the back. And I've been gradually thinning this out. It still doesn't have a massive amount of give in it yet. I still think I need to thin it out a little bit more. But we'll see. It's starting to get a bit of give. Snap. That way, if it does <laughs> snap, I'll be gutted. But for a first attempt, I've got sore hands and that's where we're at so far. And I've got a cameraman today. Good work, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, after working on this for several hours, because <laughs> it's now, let's just have a quick skeg at me watch. It is now gone four o'clock. And unfortunately, when I go to bend this, there is a weak spot. Let's see if I can show you. Cameraman, cameraman. I need the cameraman. Right, if you point the camera so you can see down here, right. Unfortunately, there is a weak spot. Oh no, sorry, it's at this end. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, it's at this end. I'll put it on the floor. Point it at that. It's there's a weak spot there. So as soon as I try and string this, there it oh. goes. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Capture my disappointment, Jack. Capture my disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, the good thing is, I made quite a few shavings. Darn it. So all this friend suggested that I take the bow and have a go, got rid of the end bit, the weak bit, and turn it into a shorter bow. So I had a go at that and unfortunately I did find a weak spot. But what it does mean is, I've made a very useful pair of barbecue tongs. <laughs> <laughs> hey well Kesara. So over there we've got special K and Son cooking us tea. We're gonna have some nice chili that he's previously prepped. And the reason I'm filming from behind this screen is the reason he's called Special K is because he's a he's a famous advert actor and he's appearing in a new serial advert next week, but he's not allowed to be seen just yet. Well, the only time it will happen is what you mean. <laughs> right, a bit of catapult fun now. Go on, Jack the lad. And he, he managed to hit a tree that. in the distance. I saw that hit the tree as well. Oh, ka -ching. <laughs> Dust just came off of that. Yeah, it's because these are clay. Go low. Got the low one. <laughs> No, it's my favourite now. <laughs> well, it's about a quarter past nine. We've had a fun day full of yammering, jibber jabber, a bit of catapulting, a bit of bow making, lots of good food. Bit of rum, bit of beer. We've got Special K over there, hiding away in his bivvy bag and a poncho tarp. Jack the lad just escaping from his uh, from his little abode over there. And then we've got oldest friend in a hammock over there. And then there's me in the Dutch army mesh tent, sorry, British army mesh tent, over here. We're settling down just because, getting a bit cool. And we've had a long day. Oh, I forgot to show you this. Oh, do. You sleep all right? No, not really. You not? Yeah. Shit, I left that on all night. That's why there's no midges, they're all dead.
Right, see you later, mate. Cheerio. Cheerio. See you later, Take care. Drive you safely, you all that jazz. I'll give you a bell later. Yeah, all right. And peace is restored. <laughs> Posh breakfast. I didn't talk you through my sleep setup last night. So I was using the British Army mesh tent on top of the high gear bed, which you can see there, look. X-ped down mat, down mat seven, which fits really nicely between the bars on this high gear bed, which I really like. Amazon Basics pillow, memory foam. And then a little red camp hollow fiber pillow. And then the Rabasent 500 and my Zephyr back down blanket. It was toasty warm in that last night. It's a lovely morning. Time to get some stuff packed away. Here we go, all packed up. I was between these two trees here, all clean and tidy. Just about 8.30 in the morning, still got the rest of Sunday free. How cool is that? Right, you know what to do if you like this, thumbs up, all that kind of stuff, all the good stuff, eh? and uh, smash the bell hit subscribe if you like what i'm doing if you don't like it don't waste your time <laughs> no point is there all right you take care of yourself thanks so much for watching hope you've enjoyed it as i say cheerio but before i go might as well check my geocaches while i'm here ain't it good to do it while you're in the area all looking good that's number one Have a look for number two. No issues with this one either, I don't think. The log's a little bit damp, but it seems all right. As long as I leave it upside down, it should be fine. Magnetic. All done. One of the reasons why I particularly like this location is, look at that, some wonderful views across the valley there. Nice.